Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Congratulations on being chosen as Ace Dorn's uh, Woman of Excellence for 2024. Thank you. Yes, this, uh, um, there was so many nice things that was said about you. I'd like to read a few of them and then we're, we're, I want to learn a little bit more about you. Okay. It said that Jennifer is new to being in the driver's seat, yet her efficiency and example of regard for safety makes her a great candidate. She is kind, generous, very hardworking, and always willing to go the extra mile to get the job done. That's very so, sweet. Yeah, well, I'm sure all of that is is very true. So it says that you're new to being in the driver's seat. What did you do prior to coming to Ace Dorn? Well, I've done a couple things. I have a respiratory degree. I worked in healthcare for about 12 years and I burned I burn out. And when I burn out, I went to work at the steel mill. Total change. And I was at the steel mill in Osceola for about three and a half years. And I got to know a bunch of truck drivers and got to know Anthony Allison through my job there and then just my husband decided he wanted to drive a truck and we were like well let's just do it together so we went to school and got our, both of us got our cdl and now we drive two separate trucks well that's wonderful so how long have you been uh how long have you been doing uh this job about two years two years and and you pull out of anthony's terminal yes yes okay good um so so one of the things in, in what you're doing that's a little difficult for women is all of the learning flatbed and tarps, yeah. chains and so it's definitely it was definitely different. Yes. So how did you how did you handle that? I mean, how did you uh, one learn to do flatbed and then manage to handle all the the heavy work that comes with flatbed? Well, one of the things that I did when I worked in the steel mill was I actually loaded cool trucks. So like I was out in the cool yard while the trucks were getting loaded. So I got to know all the drivers. So I already, before I even started, I already kind of knew how to like chain a cool and bind it and all things that had to be done because I'd watched other drivers do it and stood there and talked to them while they were doing it. And I also learned a lot of tricks through those drivers because they would teach me things. We'd just be standing there talking and they would just teach me things. They didn't even know they were teaching me things. <laughs> so when I first started, it's funny because I still say it's probably hilarious to watch me bind a cool because I use my body weight. So whenever I go to bring my breaker bar down, I use all my weight on it to pull it down because I don't have upper body strength like a man has. And my tarp, I just learned tricks on how to fold it and roll it and push it up over the cool and it's not a big deal at all. I can actually, they laugh at me at Big River Steel because that's where we load out of most of the time. And they'll be over the road truck drivers that'll pull up beside me and get loaded at the same time and I'll be chain tarped and out and they're still sitting there still trying to put their chains on. And they're all just standing there like, how in the world did you just do that? <laughs> but you just do it enough, you get and you get your own little routines and habits and it just works. Well, I was going to ask you about being a woman in the driver's seat. What were some of the biggest challenges that you've had to face? Probably that part, for one, the, the having to learn how to deal with all of the actual manual labor part of, of flatbedding. But then also, I think the judgment, like men can be so rude. <laughs> All right, uh, Jennifer, we have lost we so we have lost, we lost connection are you still there hey well, jennifer we you, you, yeah. yeah you glitched out a little bit um all right is there is there a place you can get a little bit better connection i don't i don't know if it's me or her i elizabeth i think it's i, mean, I can try I, I, Hey, Jennifer, I think it's on your end. I think you've frozen on our end. Are we froze on your end as well? She Hold on. froze on my end. She's not now. Let's see. It's getting a little better. Give it just a minute. 
We may have I'm you. We'll have outside you because my cell signal is better outside, but my Wi-Fi may not be as good outside. Right. It's getting a little better. We can actually hear you now. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Yes, that's right. better. But it, but the picture's not very good, Elizabeth. Uh, it's get. I think it's getting there. Um. There we go. Yeah. Yes, that is better. Yeah, my modem and stuff is actually in my garage, so I'll just walk out. Oh, house. there you go. <laughs> there you go. That looks better. Yes, okay. ma'am. All right. We'll go back where we were. And I'm sorry you're going to have to say that all over again. That was so good what I heard. But the, I had asked you what was some of the biggest challenges that you, that you had faced being a woman in the driver's seat. Okay, basically, like I said originally, it was the, the binding and chaining, the manual labor part was, it was kind of a challenge in the beginning. And then the just dealing with the men and their attitudes sometimes towards women drivers, like they don't, they either don't like it or they say rude things and you're just kind of like, okay, I'm just doing my job. But um, I guess I have the kind of personality where I just kind of let it roll off and just go on about my day. Or I say something snarky back and go on about my day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I, I think that uh, women are certainly gaining more respect out there now than maybe what they used to uh, being on the road. And um, I know that is something that uh, women have to face. And they also have to worry about their safety out on the road. I know yeah. that's, that's a big one. And we, with women in the driver's seat, we talk about that a lot, about what we can do to try to help make it more safe for our women drivers. Yeah, I have a tendency to run at night, and so my husband doesn't love that. But when we can go, when we go to the same places, we tend to run together. But um, I do a lot of my. I prefer to drive at night. So if I'm going somewhere that's open 24/7, I'm going to go at night. Like I, I look like this now because I literally have been up since eight o'clock last night. Oh wow! Oh my goodness. Um, what, well, Jennifer? You know, safety's priority one at at Bennett and at Ace. And uh, can you kind of give me some examples of how you practice safety out on the road? Like safety for myself or safety as in driving? As in driving. Try, I, my biggest thing is keeping a, a safe following distance because people in cars don't seem to understand that we can't stop like they can. And so, you know, when you're going through cities and there's a lot of traffic, it's really difficult to do that sometimes. But I just try to keep as much distance or when I'm going through town where there's heavy traffic, I just slow down and just let everybody just go around me and just try to stay as far back as I can to where that way I know I can at least be in a safe situation. I had, we actually had an, a situation once when we first started driving for Anthony, we were actually driving our own truck. My husband was driving it and I was just learning in it. And we were going to um, Fort Smith. And I had a, I could see up in the distance, there was two cars like going back and forth, like a road rage situation, but I couldn't really tell what was happening. So I just automatically kind of slowed down and moved over to the left lane. Well, as I get closer to them, the one car pulls over in front of the truck and slams on its brakes and makes them stop. And the person in the front gets out of the car and goes to approach the person in the truck. Well, as I get right beside them, the guy in the truck veers out into my lane, but because I had slowed down enough and I just kind of eased over to the shoulder I barely missed hitting him. Anthony, I sent Anthony the dash cam video and he said, I don't even know how you didn't hit him. I said, I don't know either, except that I just had slowed down and gotten out of their way to try to avoid the whole situation. But that's the only thing I can, I mean, that's as far as safety, that's my main thing is paying attention to what's going on in front of me and trying to be aware of all of the scenarios that could be happening and just, I, I mean, I just pay really close attention. And, and, you know, that's what you have to do. There's so many distracted drivers now that you have to really pay attention to everything going on around you. And and I know um, the dash cams, anytime we have an accident, uh, we all look at the dash cams. And so much of the time, you know, our drivers, there's just nothing they can do. Yep. You know, cars pull out. They're either in the, the lane beside them, they pull in front of them. And uh, so I, I appreciate you practicing good safety like that. Um, you know, there, um, we are hopeful that we're going to get more women, uh, that are going to come into the industry mm -hmm. and the drivers. What would you, uh, what would be your recommendation or 
what would you say to a woman that might want to come and do the job that you're doing or a job like what you're doing? Well, I was raised with the mentality. I was raised by a single mother. And so I was raised with the mentality that I could do anything a man could do. I didn't, I didn't need a man for anything. And I could, if, if a man could do it, so could I. So I would just tell any woman that was interested in doing it, if you believe in yourself, you can do it. It doesn't matter what the obstacles are. You can overcome them. That's very good advice. I like that a lot. So we're, uh, tell me a little bit about your family. I, I see that you have uh, children. You have, it says you have, you're a mother of six. Is that yes. I, yeah, my husband and I have been married for 10 years, and we have three children apiece. So we have six, but we're like the Brady Bunch. We have six <laughs> between the two of us. And we have um, four grandkids. So we've got, um, we have, our oldest is junior. He is almost 30. He'll be 30 this year. And then we have a daughter, Allie, who is 28. And then Jacob is 25 and Levi is 21. And then the two that we still have at home, Cheyenne is 16 and Ashton is uh, 13. Yeah. And so, then our grandkids are two boys and two girls. So how do you, that's always a question that, that I think us women have to face is how do you balance work and life and how do you, being on the road, how do you balance that? Well, thankfully I'm able to run regional, so I'm home every night and I, I'm, that means a lot to me. I appreciate being able to do that because if not, I don't, because I have no desire to be gone all week long away from my kids. My kids all play sports and I get to see my grandkids usually a couple times a week and so I wouldn't trade that for anything. So I just, again like i said i run at night a lot of times and so i i'll come home sleep for four or five hours try to get as rested as i can and then i will get up and do whatever i can do with the kids make dinner spend time with them and then we go on about our back to work but it, it does get kind of tough during sports seasons <laughs> yeah i know there's always a lot you know if, especially if kids play baseball and and have a lot of activities well, I was going to ask you what you enjoy doing when you're not when you're not on the road. So it sounds like it's spending time with your with your kids and your grandkids. Yes, my grandkids. My our daughter will laugh at me. She called me one day on a Friday and she said, "What's the matter?" And I said, "I have had a really crappy week. Will you bring me the babies?" And she said, "You're the <laughs> weirdest person I have ever met." <laughs> but I would just, I, yeah, they just they really. I mean, we like to go to the lake. We like to be in the water. We have a pool and we like to swim and. But yeah, those babies are it. Yeah, well, I tell you what, there's, it's wonderful being a grandmother, isn't it? Mm -hmm, it is. Yeah, I, I think that's, that is a it's, wonderful thing. It's like getting to watch your kids grow up all over again. Yes, and not having the full responsibility. Yeah. But, so let me tell you, I'm a great grandmother. And it gets, Aww. it gets even better. I bet it does. You have, you have the mom who has the total responsibility, the grandmother who has the next responsibility, and I just get to love on them. I don't mm -hmm. have responsibility. Yep. So. I'll tell you, I didn't have anybody. When I was raised, when my kids were all little, I had zero help. And so I have always said that whenever my, I, my kids had kids, I was going to be like as, as active as possible. So yeah, my husband makes fun of me because they'll call me and be like, will you watch the kids? And even if we have plans or I don't want to, or I'm tired, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, I will. It's fine. Just bring them over here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's wonderful. You sound like you're a wonderful grandmother, and we know you're a wonderful driver and a wonderful uh, person to, uh, to be working with uh, Ace Hauling and Picking. And so, Jennifer, just in acceptance of, the, uh, of this award for your Woman of Excellence for 2024 for Ace, uh, Ace Dorn, Holland and Rigging. What would you like to say in acceptance of this award? Put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it really means a lot to me. I honestly, whenever I first heard about it, I think I was kind of shocked. And so I, it really, really means a lot, especially me being a new driver. I didn't expect anything like this to happen. So um, I just thank Anthony for nominating me and all the people who have supported me and shown me the ways that work and the ways that don't and i just i appreciate it all and it really means it really means the world to me well we appreciate you and appreciate you um being out there on the road being being safe and just representing ace hauling and rigging for all of us women 
Thank you. Okay, hon. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Go get some rest. I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.